this is Don Farrell. I'm head of band investor relations, filling in this week for Mike Stan. This past week, we had a few events that caused the U.S. fixed income markets to see saw quite a bit. Earlier this week, Jay Powell made comments that bond investors cheered, but then there was Friday's jobs report, which instantly caused bond prices to fall off. With me today is my colleague, Grant Dewey, head of capital markets at BAM. Grant, can you give some color to what happened this week? Uh, change in non-farm um, payrolls in November definitely came in stronger than expected, and we also had an upward revision uh, in October, uh, Don. So um, we went from a, uh, a, a market that had a pretty good tone starting a few weeks ago after the CPI report came in a little bit um, softer than ex expected. You had uh, Chairman Powell uh, uh, spoke earlier this week, which the market uh, took as a fairly dovish stance, and they might be able to kind of moderate the pace of, of increases. But I think this morning, with the 263,000 uh, uh, job increase in non-farm payrolls uh, and an upward revision of 284,000 in October, uh, I think that has kind of led people to feel that um, uh, that the Fed really can't uh, uh, ease up too much from their aggressive tightening. So um, you also average hour, hourly earnings came in hotter than expected at rising 0.6% month over month and 5.1% and year over year. Obviously, uh, they want that to come down. But, you know, in, in spite of all this, munis have been uh, performing extremely well. We had, uh, you know, November returns, total returns in the municipal bond market were the highest monthly returns ever. Uh, since they've been keep uh, since the indices um, uh, has been around, and and October was also uh, very strong. So um, I think a lot of this has to do with technical uh, factors. Uh, the calendar continues to be relatively light. Uh, December is a big uh, redemption month. We'll see about forty two billion returned uh, to investors uh, in P and I uh, payments. So um, next week I think will probably be the last kind of reasonably busy week on the calendar. Uh, looks like I had heard about 5 billion or so for next week. And and uh, we get the FOMC rate decision the week after that. And and that typically, you know, just given the impact of, uh, of the Fed meetings, uh, it's been a relatively light uh, issuance week. So between, um, that's the week after next, I'm sorry, December 14th is the, is the FOMC. And and then the two weeks after that are holiday shortened weeks. So I think really next week will be kind of the last uh, uh, gasp uh, in terms of a you know a pretty relatively busy calendar. Yeah, and that, so that was the last jobs report that um, FOMC will see before they have to make their next decision. So it should be pretty interesting what happens in just the next couple of weeks if anything changes from from uh, Powell's comments a couple of days ago. Yeah, so, uh, but again, the, the muni tone has been very strong. We've seen a rally in, in ratios. Uh, absolute yields are lower by about 60 basis points. That's on high grade AAA paper uh, and a little bit lower yielding, you know, triple B is, is, uh, uh, is even more. So uh, the muni market's in very good shape. And I, I think we'll probably, will continue to be that way through, certainly through year end where we have very little supply and, and lots of um, and lots of PI coming due. All right. Well, thanks, Grant. Well, well, during the somewhat volatile week, BAM is short over 200 million in the primary market. Uh, this was led by two competitive sales. We insured a $98 million transaction for the Sayreville School District in New Jersey. That was FA'd by Acacia Financial Group and purchased by RW Baird. And then there was a $33 million transaction for the city of Milwaukee, and that was FA'd by PFM and purchased by Wells Fargo Securities. With that, we hope you have a nice weekend, and we wish you a productive December. Take care. Thanks, Don.